When you're working in Dreamweaver, it's very important to handle your site management. The first thing that you would do with that is to go to the site, new site, and you'll create a new site. And there are several steps to this, and it's very important to do this properly. So I'm just going to name, <coughs> excuse me, my site name is Practice. And I'm going to go and use my, I'll create a, I'll actually create a new folder. I'll call it Practice. Now it's not happy with my site name of Practice, so I'll call it Practice December. It should be happy with that. Okay. So that the first thing you're doing is you're defining where all the all of your files are. You can actually stop right there unless you actually want to be able to test on your server. To go into your servers, you can add multiple servers, and we're going to call this DGM because I'm using my digital media server from where I teach, and my address is mccdgm.net. My username is winchester at mccdgm.net and you will typically see that it's actually an email address as your username but not always. That's determined by your web server and how you have your settings set up. Then I'll put in my password and I will test to make sure that my server connection is working. and it is. So I will hit save. I will save this as well. And then I'm going to create a new HTML page. Okay, let's take a look at the file window. We have several options here. I already have information out there. This is how I connect to my remote server looks like a plug. If it's green, you can connect. And now you'll notice that I'm looking at the remote server. So I already have work out here. If I want to bring it down from the server, I'm going to choose the top level folder and I'll hit the down arrow and that will copy the entire site from my server to my local computer. Frequently, when you're working on a website, you'll use multiple computers. I'm usually using three to four computers on a regular basis. I'm using the computer at my desktop at school, I'm using my laptop, and I'm using the computer in my classroom at school. So I always make sure to synchronize my sites when I'm going to do work. This is the first time I've set up this site on this computer, so I'm actually downloading what I have out on the server so that I don't write over something that's existing. It's very important to synchronize at the beginning and end of each session where you're working on your website. So this is going to take a little bit to download because I've got a lot of images out here. You can see that I have a total of 177 files. And this is moving fairly rapidly. When this is done, I'm going to show you the other settings in the file window. But right now, this will refresh. You can either refresh locally or on your server to make sure that it's up to date. This is important if you're making changes outside of Dreamweaver, which I recommend strongly against, or if you have two people working on the same server. And that happens all the time. Okay, so this is almost done. All right, let's take a look at the different options that we have here. These are all my files. And I'm currently looking at the remote server. You can see when I modified them, and I can change this to show the local view. These are now all downloaded onto my local hard drive. If I were to make a change in something, let's go ahead and open up my test HTML file. Working on this with a student. Let's say I want to change this, put in a different banner, or just delete that. I'm going to save my file. I have a couple ways to update this. I can go into file management and I can put this file up to the server. 
dependent files would be for like my spry bar and that. Or if I'm doing a bunch of changes throughout the day, the best thing to do when you both start and end is to synchronize with the remote server. So there shouldn't be anything here to update, but normally I'll choose entire site and put new, newer files to remote. If I was updating after I'd been working on it on another computer, I would choose get newer files from remote. So I'm going to hit preview. There should not be anything. Oh, there are. Okay, it's updated two things. So I can just go ahead and choose OK. And that will update just those two files. Now, whenever Let me reopen that. I accidentally shut it. Whenever you are working, you should, at, before you start working, you should go out and synchronize with the remote server, bring down any new files, and this is how you will keep things current if you synchronize both when you start working and you finish working in Dreamweaver. And you'll see that if I go out to that file, mccdgm.net Chester. and that was my test.html you can see that it has been updated so that's how you set up sites and use them in Dreamweaver and it's very handy because once you have that information saved you can rapidly update your site and you can move back and forth from different different computers.